chicken. Perhaps the most popular bird in Britain. Remove legs, wings, parcel's nose. Stuffed with garlic and salt. Poaching stock. Carrots, celery, leeks, pepper and coriander. Thyme, bay leaf. Poach, 12 minutes. Morel, mushroom sauce. If you can't find morels, use a dried sep or just a dried wild mushroom. Shallots. Salt, thyme, garlic. 100 grams dried morels. We get some flavour on there. I much prefer using dried mushrooms because it gives it a lot of intensity. White wine. Reduce. Remove chicken. Add stock. Hundred fifty mils, double cream. And the secret behind this sauce, of course, is getting it to almost like a cafe au lait colour. Mm. We squeeze all that juice out of there. Parsley into the sauce. Okay. Remove chicken breast. Get your knife, point it on top of the wishbone, and go through it. Beautiful breast. Season. Hot pan. Olive oil. Skin side down first. Just really nice and crispy. Butter. Baste. Chicken with morel mushroom sauce. Done. Salt, pepper, hot pan, olive oil. Seal. Butter. Base. Butter paper. It protects the venison. Keeps it really nice and moist. Nothing's drying out. They are the perfect chef blanket. Hot oven, eight minutes. Red wine chocolate sauce. Pancetta, shallot, garlic. Be quite generous with the black peppercorns because we need to wake the sauce up a bit. Thyme, bay leaf. 350 mils, red wine. The red wine gives it body, texture, and a real nice depth of flavour. Reduce. 350 mils, brown chicken stock. Reduce. Quite a beautiful. Sieve. Then, a little dash of raspberry vinegar. Dark chocolate. Delicious sauce. Mm. Don't slice it too thin. Slightly pink in the centre. Loin of venison with red wine chocolate sauce. Done. Brill. Razor sharp knife. Fillet. Nice, long slices. That's the first one off. Up. Brill bones and turbot bones are the most sought after in any kitchen. That will make the most perfect fish stock. Skin. And just pull. This little bit here is called the skirt. That's lovely inside a fish pie. It really is delicious. Season. Both sides. Red wine. Thyme, bay leaf, garlic, salt, pepper and olive oil. Poach. The sauce. Shallots. 
Um, it's a bit of a sort of cooks thing, really, because onions are far too strong. A shallot, it's quite mellow. Butter. You get some real nice colour on there. I want this nice, real nut brown flavour on the shallot. Sugar. Really starts to caramelise those shallots. Beautiful shine on there. Raspberry vinegar. In. And it just sort of wakes everything up a little bit. Add poaching wine. Reduce. 50 grams of butter. Shake it into the sauce. Fish slice onto the plate. Brill in red wine sauce. Done. Rack of lamb. This is the Rolls Royce of lamb. It is every chef's dream to cook this. In kitchens, especially in my kitchens, we always season on plates because we don't want to waste any salt pepper. So once we've seasoned from a height, we then get the rack of lamb and almost sort of rub it in and let the lamb absorb all that salt and pepper so we're wasting nothing. Hot pan, olive oil. It's simple mathematics. No colour, no flavour. Get some colour on there. Skin side down, hot oven, seven to eight minutes. Herb crust. I'll just pick some parsley in. Parsley, rosemary, thyme. That parsley gives it a really nice dark green colour. Great parmesan and season. And then just a drizzle of olive oil to bring it together. Blitz it. Comes out amazing, eh? Firm with the spring and it will be cooked perfectly pink. Dijon mustard. Whilst it's hot, the sort of mustard absorbs and melts quickly into the fat and just makes it a lot more flavoursome. And it's almost like sort of dipping your lolly in the sherbet. Crisp the breadcrumbs three to four minutes. Plate, herb crusted rack of lamb, done. Beef fillet. Lean meat with little fine sinews of fat running through. It just melts in your mouth like butter. Seasoned. Hot pan, olive oil. Seal. Mustard. Think about it. Fill it beef wellington, English mustard. You're not going to put Dijon on there, are you? Mushrooms. Season. Blitz. Now, I've got to take the water out of the mushrooms. Look how wet they are. We don't put oil or butter into the pan. We put nothing in there. Look how much water's coming out now. Assemble. Cling film. Parma ham. Mushrooms. Beef. Centre. And roll. Twist it nice and tight. Chill. 20 minutes. Puff pastry. Beef. Unwrap. On to the pastry. Egg wash. Don't skimp on the egg wash now, because we really need it to stick. Tuck that in. Chill. Five minutes. Glaze. 
score. Rock salt. Bake. The most important thing about a fillet of beef wellington, do not slice it thinly, OK? Turn it round and slice it about an inch thick. Beef Wellington. Done.